Two of the most storied franchises in all of HBCU football will be facing off this Saturday in Jackson, Mississippi. And that is Jackson State University and Grambling. All right. But before we get into it, I need y'all to go ahead and do this. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share this with all of your partners, your filming, and tell them to be down with the realest, most entertaining sports show in the game. And that is put it on something. And I am your homeboy first. But let's look at it, man. Uh, Grambling is coming off of a 47-21 victory versus Northwestern State. Uh, in that game, Grambling was very opportunistic. You feel me? Uh, early Northwestern State was up 7 nothing. They were driving. Uh, looks like they were about to go up. 14 to nothing, but Grambling got a pick in the end zone, and that totally swung the momentum of the game, okay? Because after that, Grambling ended up running off 41 unanswered points. 41 unanswered points, okay? Uh, and they damn near had a pick six in the mix of that as well, okay? So, uh, as I said in my previous segment, you know, about the Tennessee State game. Jack State's offense got to come to play. They got to be smart. They got to be disciplined when it comes to protecting that football, okay? Because uh, Grambling was able to capitalize on uh, their opponent's mistakes uh, uh, in last week's game, okay? Now, Jackson State's defense didn't allow Tennessee State to capitalize on some of our offense's mistakes. And I would assume that the defense would still be able to hold, but it's like we saw in the celebration bowl, you can't just keep doing that shit. You cannot just keep making mistakes and just think your opponent uh ain't gonna eventually cash in on them shits. Okay. Uh, another thing that I saw from the Grambling game was they had numerous big plays, all right, lots of explosive plays. Uh and yak was the big deal. Okay, and that's yards after carry or yards after catch. All right, Grambling had one kid, Mr. Washington. This young blood gold for 95 yards on the ground on only five carries. Okay, five carries, 95 yards, two touchdowns. That's explosion. That's explosiveness. I right? had a long of 61. Their receivers had explosive plays. All right, Mr. Rash had only two catches, but he had him for 92 yards in a tub, a longer 83 yards. Mr. Waters only had four catches, but that was for 90 yards in a tub, a longer of 71 yards. Mr. Williams, explosive, three catches, 85 yards, a longer 78 yards, okay? So big plays, big plays. And that's what can happen uh, with Jackson State. That's what could possibly happen. As I said, that the, the defense for Jackson State University is the best defense in the FCS, period. Okay? Uh, on, they've only given up three points in both of their games against – that's FAMU, three points given up, and that's Tennessee State, three points given up. Against Tennessee State, they only gave up two – Damn rushing yards, period. Whole game. Two. And Tennessee State was trying to run the ball. That's how stout they are. But for a big play to happen, you need one motherfucker to get out of position. Or one catch slip and fall. Or, or offensive pass interference don't get called. Like, you know, saying the receiver give you a little nudge and that knocks you down. And they, boom, they can call the bomb. You feel me? So uh jackson state has to fix whatever the problem was last week with the offense in terms of being able to hold on to the ball in terms of being able to avoid holding penalties uh in terms of being better in the red area in the red zone the money zone you feel me some teams call it the green zone because that's where you get paid who, who can go get the score you feel me they got to be better they got to be better because as uh, Northwestern State can attest to in the in, uh, post-game interview, that their uh, head coach was attesting to this. 
That pick in the end zone that Northwestern State threw, fuck they whole shit up. Like I told you, they, they gave up 41 straight points after that. It fucked their whole shit up. They were about to go up two, two uh, touchdowns. You know what I'm talking about? Um, so red zone mistakes can be highly detrimental to any ball team. But so but then when you add in, uh, it's Grambling. It's Jackson State. First Jackson State home game. Band's going to be live. Crowd going to be live. We, we dealing with this fucking water crisis. So you know people want some kind of positivity, something to lean on, something to be happy about. God damn, because you're dealing with all this bullshit. So it's going to be live in there now. It's going to be live in there. If it's less than 60,000, I'd be shocked. Okay? I'd be shocked. Oh, uh, shit. The, 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 uh, Southern Heritage Classic just had 51,000, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was 51,351. So you know that was mostly Jackson State supporters. You feel me? So we did that up there in Memphis. You already know what's about to go down in Jackson. So it's going to be live. And so both teams need to be focused, be ready to go. Of course, y'all know who I'm predicting to win. I've told y'all already. Book it. We won't lose a game. But that's contingent on us doing what we got to do. Grambling ain't just finna roll over. Now, in that first game they played, that money game, I, I am not finna try to glean anything from that. It, it's really hard to get information from money games. Okay. So, uh, fuck that. But in this game right here versus another FCS opponent, they got in that ass. They got in that ass, okay? And the way uh, Northwestern State coach was acting, he was like, he was shocked. He was like, like that was a game that they, if not should have won, they should have competed much better. You feel me? So, doesn't need to be a letdown in Jackson, Mississippi, man. Jack State Titan need to come out there and handle their business, okay? Offense, defense, and special teams. All right, but let me know who y'all think gonna come out on top. Let me know what what, what scores y'all got. All right, let me know what y'all wearing up in that bitch. Are y'all gonna be live with that motherfucker? Are we gonna get sixty in that thing? I know my brother PT gonna be up in that joint. You know what I'm talking about? I might slide off in there with my brother. I don't know. No, I think about it. Y'all might see your boy first up in there. You know what I'm talking about? I have so many responsibilities. You know, to my as a businessman, but I might try to slide up in there too, live and in person, and get my notes so I can take notes and let y'all know what the vibe is. I might, we'll see. All right, let me know what y'all gonna do though. Put it on some. Thank you so much for watching my daddy's YouTube channel. Make sure you like, share, and turn on your post notifications. Okay, how do I do?